Hey gang, it is Rob here, FL Thunder Digging Florida with Rob, and I am on my way for another road trip with Mr. Dalton. He's found us a church, old church property with 100 year old oak trees on it, probably older. And he spoke to the church representative and she said a guy came by 10 years ago and found a few Indian heads. So as you can imagine, Mr. Dalton's pretty excited. So this is probably, I think, two counties south of us. I'm gonna put the mileage at zero and we're going to see how long it's going to take to get there. I'm not sure. He just texted me the address. I'm off. It's going to be at least a 45 minutes to an hour drive. All righty. And look at that. With the rain that came through, guys, 82 degrees. With a cool breeze and overcast skies, this is going to be nice today. Hey, gang. Here is the permission that Mr. Dalton got us from that church. The lady told him that the deputies hang out under there. There's two of them there. We got that field and that lot. That. All of that lot on the other side of the trees this lot all the way to the street that lot over there okay like five lots and uh there were houses here in the 30s and 40s mr dalton has found one weedy before i got here would you say it was 46 46 we'll show that in a minute and we'll show what he just found uh, over there, over there. Like look at that beautiful military button it says ng new jersey we're going to assume that's national guard new jersey it's got crossed rifles um he thinks he hit it there that bent it in yeah i think they did and on the back it says, you say it says Schofield? Yeah, it says Waterbury. Or Waterbury, I'm sorry. Yeah. So guys, that's definitely a military button and we're gonna find out the era and if that is National Guard New Jersey or if it stands for something else. We don't get too many old military buttons down here. Very cool. Hey gang, it's been tough going out here. Mr. Dalton just got a baby weedy, 53D said it wasn't too deep either so that's our first find since his uh his really cool button all right okay guys mr dalton's walking back over to me after he walked away i was digging that hole right there when he showed me the weedy i walked down here about 10 15 feet i got a bouncy 27 29 signal for a quarter and i don't know how a penny came out of that but it is the first weedy of the day oh it's been raining here guys since about 15 minutes after we got here is that going to be a 56 see i got bare hand 56 d all right so that's our third weedy out of here today that's that's a little better guys i i hit it but i don't think i broke it i might have put a line in it but i didn't break it and it is cool as hell oh my god pick it up You got a little bit. Yeah, I knew. I, I was trying to get underneath behind it. Yep, I I probably poked right through that. But at least I didn't break the metal wings off. Phantom. Still got one missile. Look at that, baby. Dang, this is going to be clean up nice. This is going to be my coolest jet ever, gang. Look at that, baby. All right, I'm in a much better mood. I mean, it's not super old because it's got some plastic undersides, but I don't really care. That is just way too... That's my third airplane. All right. All right, guys. My day may be getting a little bit better. Oh, I see it. I don't know if it's going to be silver, but it's a ring. Broken. Did I break it? No, oh, it's one of those slide pieces. You got food, just in case. No, I got my I got my toothbrush here. Unless that's a really old one, I don't know if they. Oh, make... it's an older one because it. Yeah, but they make kids rings like that too. I think it's older. Well, I'll I'll go with your your idea. I haven't had a ring in quite a while. Kind of like a dragon on it yeah oh no it's like the scottish uh or yeah yeah there you go sorry no that's pretty cool but you don't see anything on the inside mm, i don't see anything all right it's well, we'll clean it up too. we'll clean it up we'll, yeah we'll clean it up we get to the car okay gang i'm in my own little world over here i was working my way to the car to get something to drink and mr dalton said something to my back which i didn't hear and he said i'm gonna call a barber it sounds so good and gang, he thinks he's got one. Could be seated. And it, or it could be our very first seated. Oh, I went about 10 feet over. See where my... 
Yeah. I'm. There's one right there. Yep. Go ahead and come over here. Where is it? It looks old. It does look really old. Here. All right, Flipper. You ready? Yep. It's a barber. Yes, it is. Could it be 1800s? Neither one of us has gotten 1800 silver yet. Might have to. You want to take it to the car? Let's take it to the car. I got to go there anyway. All right. Okay, guys, we came back here to the car. Oh, yeah. She's got that old gray silver. Mm -hmm. And that's worn, too. But you can see it says 1912. Yeah, my phone does pretty good when it's cloudy. 1912. Okay. Oh, the back will clean up. I know that'll clean up more. All right, guys, Mr. Dalton has something in his hand. I thought it was a silver quarter when it first came out, but it's 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 got some kind of shield or something on it, doesn't it? It goes like that. Huh? I think it goes like that. There's no writing on the back, but... Here. I actually got both of them. It's shining up nice. gonna have to get it tested that's you feel the weight of that that's got to be silver that thing is heavy as hell yeah there was a chain bit there that broke off that is that's that's cool yeah that's a that's a that's a coat of arms okay yeah I'll have that tested tomorrow all right maybe silver gang Well, gang, if Mr. Dalton thought he chopped his little button, he didn't do anything. I rechecked the hole. And Mr. Dalton's got three or four more pieces of whatever this thing was. I say was because... There it is right there. Oh. And there's another. What is that? Nothing. There it is right there. Oh, there's the... Oh yeah, Mr. Mr. Rob really beat the crap out of this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's why they lost it because it was in six pieces. <laughs> Let me see your water bottle. Yeah. It's got a. Yeah. While well, you do that, I'm gonna go back and get my glasses. Okay, Kang. I came and got my glasses. Here's all the pieces of this, I don't know what we're going to call it, necklace, bracelet, charm, that came out of that hole. Um, we're getting eaten up by mosquitoes here. Um, Dalton thinks this is a young Edward from Great Britain or Canada, and it's got a ram on the back side of all of them. Well, some of them do, and the other ones have the crest like this. So I'm going to say this is English or British, and guys, this has got to be silver. It's just, none of it's tarnished. It's very heavy. But I'll take that to my uh, jewelry guy tomorrow. All right, that's my find of the day. Okay, gang over there by where mine and Dalton's car are. The lady, the church employee that came out, she came out and looked at some of our finds. She looked at Dalton's barber and my little Edward chain, whatever it was. She was very impressed and she gave us some more information. She told us in this corner of the property, right where my finger is, there was a very old house, 1800s. We're working our way there. And I just got this gang. I don't know what it is. It's uh, maybe some type of pin or something. I'll clean it up later. It came in on perfect 1819. Thought I was digging for an Indian. All right. All right, got a really deep 25, 26 signal here. And as you can see, you can see how deep I dug here. That's, uh, that's a good 10 inches, but it gives us our oldest coin of the day. Look at how green the front of that weedy is. And if I'm looking at it correct with my glasses on, I think that says 1925. I'll have Dalton look at it better. Oh my God! And it didn't give me a weedy signal. Look at look at that beauty, though. 
25. 25, okay, I couldn't tell if it was 22, 23, 25. Nice job. Thank you, all right. All right, now it's a much better day. Yeah, look at that nice green. All right. Well guys, I don't know what we've decided the name's gonna be, whether it's gonna be Silver Whisper, Silver Master, or I can't think of the other one I was thinking of, but anyway, he said he had high 20s, and I said, give me big silver, and he said, nope, but I got little silver. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, I wouldn't have looked there, but. Oh, I see it. It's a rosy. Oh, it's a rosy. It's a clean rosy too. Let's see what year. 52. 52. Boom, second silver coin for Mr. All Dalton right. today. Alrighty gang, right over there where Mr. Dalton's machine was, he got another cool find. Look at this coin. We cleaned it, it took us a while. That is King George VI on the front with 1944. Right Flip there, it over on the back, it says, okay, well, 1944 on the back right there at the bottom. It says one Anna and above it, India. He's got an Indian one, whatever Anna is, back when India was under control of the uh, British Empire. It says George VI something NG. What is that? Something NG. Emperor. Yeah. King. Maybe. That's cool as hell. Mr. Dalton is in Fuego. He's calling a weedy after his British India coin. King Emperor of the British Empire. George VI. Looks like a 41. 41. Oh, that was down there a ways. All right, I think that's like Weedy 5 or 6 for us for the days. That's starting to add up, gang. And Mr. Dalton calls another Weedy. Good for him. As you can tell, Rob's getting pretty tired. You can't tell the last two digits. Well, those are the only two that are important. I think I see a 4. You think it's 194? I think so. I think it's 46. Yeah, 46, I believe. Alrighty gang, I had a bouncy 24, 26, 7 signal here. I figured it might be Memorial, but guys, I finally did it. I got my silver coin for the day. It's a rosy 56, I believe. Take a look at it, Mr. Dalton. 58. 58. Any 58 Denver. I will take that, good people. Oh, look at that. Alright, now Rob has a silver coin and possible yeah. silver necklace. All right. All righty, good people. Mr. Dalton, Mr. Dalton called something unusual out of this hole, too. And he said, I think I got another different, maybe foreign coin. And I said, I don't know. It's got a hole in the middle. Maybe it's a washer. And he goes, maybe it's a token. Guys, we only can see two words. Token, five cents, and Mississippi. It might be a Mississippi tax token. We're going to find crazy. out the year for you. It is crazy. But, gang, this is apparently where the oldest house was on this property. We're doing this corner. All right. Gotten two silvers, a foreign coin, and a tax token off this area of this property. Wow. Alrighty, gang, I got another 18, 19, 17, 18, 19 signal here for a possible Indian. And guys, I just got the same thing Mr. Dalton did 10 minutes ago, a Mississippi tax token. Mine's clean up better than his. It says to make change for, to make for correct change for sales tax, five cents. Mississippi, we think. Yeah. Look at that, a pair of them here, gang. I have no idea what they're doing down here in Central Florida, West Central Florida. All right, we'll clean that up when we get home. Now we each got one. We've neither one of us has ever had a tax token before, and we both get them the same day. All right. Oh, that zoomed in nice. Tax commission. All right. All right, gang, I, I will admit to people, and I, I told Dalton this a few minutes ago, I was not sold on this property after the first half hour. He would found like one weedy. I was finding just mostly garbage. It was raining. It was muggy. The mosquitoes were all over the place. But we have stuck it out and not jumped around. Well, we've jumped around this big property, but we didn't leave. And gang, way down deep here, another seven or eight inches, look at that nice green patina penny. And we believe that says 35. So I've gotten a 25 and a 35 Wheaties really deep. I, I can't even get to see the wheat stalks on the back. It's so 
but we got the front cleaning off and that is that got green patina 35 i might even need that in the mormon's book all right all right mr dalton called weedy on an 1819 which is normally an indian signal he's not far from where i got my 35 oh, oh he's disappointed it's a 46 it's a it's your second you got three a 45 and two 46s today that's weird it was an, on, on an 1819 and they're coming in weird today nice though it's weedy number seven i think for the day seven or eight all right all right gang mr dalton and i are calling it a day we've been out here about over four hours there's all his clad he dug a lot of clad He's got five Wheaties, oldest being 41. His transit token, New Jersey, National Guard, New Jersey. We found out that this is an uber rare post-Civil War button made by uh, uh, Scoville, Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, we looked it up on the internet. It is an extreme, this, this is rarer than most Confederate. That's what this guy said. Uh, buttons i'm having trouble talking more, re more research on it his uh 1912 barber that's gray his 1952 rosie his really cool 44 yeah 44 uh king emperor george the sixth one anna indian coin way cool first for both of us uh my 58 rosie my united states uh, marine corps lapel pin my really old uh eight star number 12 new umcc new club shotgun head my three wheaties 25 35 and a 56 two keys the ring oh and we forgot the coup de grace and there it is we think that is english silver one two three four five six pieces they all have the young gentleman's head facing left and on the back of every single one of them they have the ram's head logo interspersed with the shield that has got to be silver guys i wonder if we're just missing the piece that says sterling that is just way too wild it's even got his head on the back of that little teeny piece right there oh yeah you can see that that's got to be old gang all righty so eight wheaties three silver dimes oh where's my tax token okay gang i can't find my my tax token which you know hey that's easy for me to lose from the field to the car but it looks just like mr dalton's um and he did find his six weedy it was in his pocket but that's a wild day guys that's that's going to be one of our most incredible boards